Hey, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to talk about dry shampoo. Yes, that's right. It doesn't sound like a very exciting topic, but to me it is because it allows me to go longer between washes. Ever since I've gotten a little bit more grown up, my hair has gotten a little more dry. In fact, actually, it's a lot more dry. I used to wash my hair every single day because it got so oily, but now I wash my hair usually Mondays and Fridays, and in large part, that's due to the help of dry shampoo. And for the longest time, I've just been using this Suave brand of dry shampoo because I tried several other higher end brands and they really didn't work any better than the Suave. But I have to say, this dry shampoo never lived up to the promises. Yes, it got my hair kind of clean looking, but it did not give it any body or do anything particularly special. But I think all that changed this morning when I used a different dry shampoo. This is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Dry Shampoo, but I think it really did did help out. It made my hair look first day wash clean and it really gave me a lot of volume. So let me go back to this morning and I'll show you how it worked. It says lift hair in even sections and spray roots in short quick bursts and it says you can do it throughout the day which seems a little odd. Okay let's just kind of do that. Let's see if it can give me some volume which would be an amazing thing. And I will tell you, I'm wearing my Ralph Lauren PJs. Here they are. I bought them for a little girl trip that I did about two or three weekends ago. It was absolutely fun. It was a reunion of my junior high school girlfriends. We all turned 60 this year, and many of us had not seen each other in years since probably the last reunion. In honor of that, instead of doing my thought for the day, I'm gonna be a little chatty there, so I'll be showing you some pictures from our reunion. I didn't intend to put it on YouTube, but I just thought it was a nice kind of topic for a thought for the day, which is connecting with old friends. Okay, let's try to get that part a little bit. I'm giving this a good dousing. Okay, now, just like any dry shampoo, it feels a little bit wet on my hair. So I'm gonna go through and do this. It does feel like my hair feels a little bit cleaner already. Okay, I'm going to go through and brush it through just to kind of get it out of my hair. It doesn't go on white like some of them, so I think that's a nice thing. Well, my hair definitely feels cleaner and less oily, and it really does feel like it is lifted and has more volume. I think this is a truly great shampoo. I did order it from Octoli, but that's because I really love these John Frieda products. They are some of the products I've used for years and go back to over and over again. And if you're interested in finding out great products for your skin and hair for those over 50, this channel is called 50 Plus Beauty and it's all about making your second half your best half. I hope you'll consider subscribing and when you click that little bell that just sends you an email of my future videos. Today's oh. thought for the day is something kind of personal I wanted to share with you. It's a thought for the day about friendship and the importance of good old friends. Last week, actually not this past weekend, but the weekend before, I had the wonderful pleasure of seeing nine other friends that were all turning 60 this year. And the reason we're all turning 60 is that we graduated from our junior high school together in 1973. Yes, that's amazing. Missy Francis, and here is a picture of Missy. Missy and a beautiful girl named Kim got together and planned this fabulous weekend for us all. We met in Kansas City and stayed Friday night and Saturday night at a beautiful inn. For the inn at 425, I think it was called. I'll link it below. It's a fabulous place to have a reunion, a get together, or just a romantic night for two. Just for today, I wanted to leave you with a thought for the day about the importance of the friendships in our lives. Even the very oldest friendships, sometimes they're some of the best ones.